by yeah, a, f a fair amount, to be honest. But Enrique has a stockier, wider sort of build, so this would be an interesting well, classic battle. Well, there's LFL fighter in weight 82 kilograms. is scheduled three rounds of five minutes, and the referee is Mr. Daniel Sharifi. Hey, fighters. Hey guys, you know the rules, fight hard, fight clear, listen to my comments all the time, no questions, let's get off, step back. And I am excited Ooh, yeah. about this one. <laughs> yeah, you can feel this one. Couple minutes of chaos right, right off ready? the top. Let's go! Here we go. We could explode right away. There he comes in behind two jabs, catch and punch. Bice has got excellent movement though. There's a good inside leg kick. A hook counter from Enrique. It's a good short block there by Enrique. Ooh, reaches to the body. And there is some venom behind Enrique's strikes. We catch it. Well, he worked his way up and in. Bow, Bows tried to go high. Take down on 10 by Enrique. Smart. Got the body lock. Yeah, now he's got a lace. Beautiful. That really nice. Look. Gets a little greedy going for the mount early, though. And Bows won't be phased by this. He's excellent off his back. He's going to try and get back to guard, I think. He's not really the type of fighter to, to look for get ups. That, oh, well, that's a half guard. It catches him in the half guard. It's a better, a small improvement for Baust. It almost looked like Henrique won a half guard, though. Mm, he Some guys just enjoy being there better than being in cross side. Yeah, and he, he, you could see him sort of interpreting what was there and making that choice. You're right. Uh huh. Because I'm trying a position here for Baust. Yeah, the you can't sweep him or finish him here. The wide left arm. The, the wide left arm um, by Baust is taking it away. Or by uh, Hen Henry Camp. There it goes. But the, the, the partial sweep was enough to almost get back to guard or a form of guard and then an advance again from Henrique. A lot of action here in the grappling. Neither guy is just sort of settling at all. This is where Bias has had some issues in the past, because now that he accepts being on his back a little too much, because he enjoys working from his back, he's dangerous too from his back, but he's trying he can't the submit the guy. He's trying to climb the triangle yep. on his, on uh, Henrique's left side, but Henrique uses it to get a little further deeper into the pass. And, but the regarding game of Baust is really good. It's been a very controlled but fluid action from these fellas at the minute. Now he gets a little more deeper pass back to back to cross side again. Powerful pass there. Mm. Using his forearm to create some distance. Short elbow there by Enrique. Enrique tried cross side, didn't like it, went back to half guard, couldn't get too much offense, but he's winning the round. He's winning the round positionally, but he's not able to. He can feel that as soon as he tries to get offensive, that's when Bounce will move, and now he does. Gets up to his feet. In part, Bounce coming up on top. There you go. No, dog fight position. Nice job by Enrique to move with it. Yeah. And Baust using some of that bulk just to position Baust against the cage. Big props to Enrique for yeah, taking this fight yeah. on late notice and fighting like this in the first round. Really good. These are the types of rounds that just get away from you if you're a guy like Baust and you you start to to, to steal them if you're a guy like Enrique. We're, there's a minute remaining and Enrique ran the positional game. Baust has to hurt him and do some, some measurable damage here or else it'll be Enrique's round. Oh, Enrique hunting for the takedown again. Yeah, he's all over him. This is, this is how Baust likes to fight though, because he's very sneaky with his knockouts and with his submissions. 
This is the type of round and the type of style that's hard to fight if you're not in shape. So, so Wallace and Enrique takes this on short notice, but he's in shape. Like, even tactically, you just, you don't stay on this if you're, if you're not in shape. Short sure, ride there by Enrique. Good head position by Baez, controlling the fight here in this position. You can definitely see the, the, the difference in build, though. Enrique is really a, mi a middleweight. Mm. And Baez fights at lightweight. Wow. Yeah, it's a tough one to move up. And yeah. But I mean, a, a lightweight is 175 to 180 pounds when they're, when they're not cutting weight for a fight. Yep. So. So that's a good, fun, action-packed round. You know, nobody just settles for any position, but you get the feeling, Enrique, these are the kinds of rounds, you, you do that twice and you're in a fight. Yeah. I want to see more movement out of Boast, because his movement is excellent, but he's waiting for Enrique too much. And he's allowing him to get in the takedown positions, and he actually got taken down, and although he doesn't mind being on his back, he lost the first yeah. round by doing that. Yeah, it's a tactical loss. This was a fun sequence here. Everybody everybody kept making the right choice, yeah, choice beautiful. after choice there. Reacting to one another, bouncing back and yep. forth. Enrique oh. on top, and then it looked like Baz was going to reverse him, and then Enrique hit that underhook and used that in his favor. <laughs> but a surprising first round from Enrique. The question of where he move further in is whether he's in this later fight condition. Has he shown so far? Yes, so far. Oh. You, um, he also, it shows how smart he is. He gets the fight on one, one day's notice kind of style and does enough research to go, how did people win rounds against Baust? And, uh, and then comes up with a round one that takes that knowledge and, and implements it perfectly. Baust kicks so, so smooth, so easy. Yeah, just flicked it out. And you know, getting, the, getting that foot digging into your sternum is no fun. Definitely see a more active Baust here in the, in the second round. Oh, he's punching a beautiful head kick there. Gorgeous. Poetry in motion. Take down attempt, and this is where Baust should not allow him to be. But yeah, and he's he's doing a pretty good job of not allowing it to advance. But yeah, his just like he's a, a touch comfortable on his back, he's a touch comfortable with his back to the cage. Should be a little more you know, intentional. I got him done. Beautiful knee and right, and that trap is finding a home now as well. And Enrique just driving in. Oh, he's got, got it locked in. He's got it locked in. I am a full combo. Oh, he's got him. Oh, that's nice. Magnificent work from Faust. As I said in the first round, he doesn't mind being in a fight like this because he's so sneaky. You're and right. And boom, yeah. get it Unbelievably slick. What a finish out of a sloppy takedown. Yeah, he didn't actually, I, I said high elbow because I assumed he would drop the elbow over the shoulder. He just pressured palm to palm. And then Enrique got too comfortable going for those takedowns. It's like Buzz lured him in and bang, hit that guillotine. Beautiful job. And it's like Bounce is bringing his uh, boy into the cage with him to celebrate this victory. That's on the cage. And that's beautiful. Yes. That's beautiful. What a moment. For all props to Henrique as well. That first round, he showed how tough he was. Lovely moment in the cage as well, about Henrique kneeling and bowing to each other in a sign of mutual respect. A terrific fight, really back and forth one, and then the ending out of nowhere. Big, big, big props to Juan de San Henrique for taking the fight on such short notice. So will we get the replay?
So some lovely hand and striking action from Faust there. And I think this is where he shoots in. Looks at it. He catches them on the right side with an underhook. Keeps them up. And then he switches it. Here he's got it locked in. Beautiful yeah. job there by Peter Baust. A fantastic fight, back and forth. Finish. It's the man in the red corner, Peter Baust. Thank you for a great fight. Thank you for a great fight on a day's notice. Peter, you can bring your boy in if you like. Are you proud of your father? Yeah. <laughs> you should be. You should be. Your dad's a, a great man. Uh, you've led a really, like, inspiring life. D difficult times and, and great times. Tell me how you feel right now. Uh, to be f first, uh, thank you to my Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, of course. Yay. <laughs> And uh, a big shout out to my opponent. There was uh, a lot of things happening yesterday. My, my opponent pulled out and he came in to fly. He was uh, much more heavy. I, yesterday I wore, wore about 72 kilos and he was 82. So there's 10 kilos difference. But still, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> And he brought the heat, too. That was not an easy fight. Uh, Stefan was saying that you like those fights where there's a lot going on because you can s sneaky and just catch something. Were you, the first round was challenging. Were you confident you were going to get him? Yeah, he's a new opponent, totally different style. He has hard punches. The first punch he gave me in the first kick, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? But hey, once again, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So definitely fight like your father. Definitely be driven like your father. But don't talk like your father. No, he's going to school. He's going to yeah. school. I don't, you don't have to do this. There was, there's been difficult times. Even the last few fights have been tough. It's got to feel good right now. Standing here with your boy, having had gone through a difficult period the last few days, and then had come out victorious. Yeah, uh, the last couple of two years was... Hectic uh, loss after loss, and it was not. I didn't lose. I only lo lost for myself. So I did a lot of mental training, and my team and they are like family right near Harun Pepine, my brother Mikey, my girlfriend Kama, everybody, time uh, the whole Kama brothers crew. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! I never gave up, man. Trust me, I never gave up. I will get back to the top. All those belts are mine. Trust me. Can, thank you for a wonderful fight. Congratulations for, for your family's victory tonight. And uh, you're very, very inspiring, man. Thank you very much. Your winner, Peter Baust. Wonderful performance, great man. And what a finish to that fight. If I may uh, give a little suggestion. For his